गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल आई एम तृप्ति थिटे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलिकम्युनिकेशन डिपार्टमेंट ट्रिनिटी अकेडमी ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग पुणे आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर दिस सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द गूगल क्लासरूम फॉर टीचर गूगल क्लासरूम इज अ फ्री ओपन सोर्स वेब सर्विस इट इज वेरी यूजर फ्रेंडली वाई एक्जैक्टली all teacher need a google classroom and what is an uses of the google classroom first very important thing is user class google classroom interact with the students very easily next we can upload the material related to our subject using the google classroom we can upload the assignments we can give grade to the students also we can provide the feedback on the assignments to the students so it's very easy and interactive platform which can be used as the learning management system for this e teaching and learning process now let's start for the demonstration of how exactly we can use this google classroom for interacting with the students now if you just type over here google classroom if you open this browser google classroom you need to sign in with either any account either your gmail account or either your official account or your institutional account so once you log in into the account then the very first window of the google classroom will gets open now let's start how we can create our class google classroom allows you to create your classes for many subjects for many years okay now Uh, on the right hand side there is a plus icon when you click on that icon there are two options join class and create class so as a teacher we need to create a new class hence we need to create a class just click on the create class now here you can give the name to the class for example the name of the class then section this is an optional thing you may put here or you may not not put here be entc then you may give here the name of the subject and this is an room number these two things are the optional things and just you click on the create button so it takes a second for creating your class so once your class is created in this way in this way your class can be viewed the name of the class is internet of things it's for b e n t c now here uh, when each and every class is created unique class code of each and every class is created so you can view this class code over here and this class code is very important to allow to join either any another teacher we can call it as an co teacher or to join for our class by the students so first way to allow to join 
the class to the student is share this class code to the students and second way to allow the students to join the class is you can click on this particular people button and then over here you can observe this is an teacher side and this is an student side in this side in the teacher side you can add the teacher which can be a co teacher for your class say for example i can add this particular co teacher and i can invite this co teacher for joining this particular class then you can add the students either i have already told you by that way by sending the class code to the students or you may invite the students by their gmail or by their email ids say for example i am inviting the students through the gmail so this invite will get into their gmail account and by this just uh, accepting this invitation the students can join your class so in this way we can add the teachers co teachers other teachers to our class which can also have all access of the material and we can also add the students over here now this is an action where uh, if n number of students are added you can rearrange the students by sorting them with the last name or you can rearrange the students by sorting it with the first name so many possibilities are there for arranging the students as per our requirement so this one is how we can add the peoples in our class now once we add the peoples in our class okay this one is our class the next and very important thing is how i can give the assignments to the students so there is a icon class work icon if you click on this class work icon you can allow to create n number of assignments or you can allow to provide the assignments to the user now how i can provide the assignments to the user so now there is an option of create so you can give the assignment to the students by just with the clicking the assignment you can type over here any question say for example what is an iot okay so you may give here the optional means student can write their answer over here then here you may give the points to the question say for example this question is of 2 marks then you may give the due date for this particular question means up to which point or up to what date the students can able to give answer for this question it may be say for example it sent 27 june you may provide the time to the students say for example 12 pm okay so in this way we provided the due date to the assignments now this is an one way once you create an assignment you just click over here and you can give the assign button you can click on the assign button so that your assignment can be assigned to the students which are added in your classroom so this is an first way to create an assignment or to give the assignments to the students the second way if you click on the create button you may create or you may give assignment in the form of quiz or you may give the assignment in the form of questions short answer question in this way or you may add over here the file in which you may have already the question banks available with you okay so there may be the question bank available with you in the microsoft word or in the excel file using that also by selecting here the file from the device okay 
you may give the students the assignments in the word form or in the excel format then the another way of creating the assignment uh, is the quiz assignment and number of options are there one more thing while solving this assignment you may provide the materials to the students material to the student may be in the form of notes like the text notes which you provide over here or you may add the material through the google link or through the google platform or you may also add say for example if i click over here add a link and here i just want to inside the link what is iot so suppose over here on this link there is a detailed information about what is an iot then i can copy this link and in the class work i can paste this link and i can add this link and i can told students that use this particular link for solving the assignment also you can add the youtube video okay either your own video or either your uh, means predefined videos which are there on the youtube so here you can search uh, on the for the videos and once you get the detailed url of the video you can upload this particular video over here so that this can help you for the students for solving the assignment so in this way we can provide the material to the students so once you add the material okay that material will be posted in our google classroom now another very important facility provided in the google classroom is the google meet okay you can generate a google meet automatically over here and which can be used to interact with the students in your google classroom also you can manage the google calendar over here for n number of assignments that you want to give to your student so you can write over here so see 27th uh, date on saturday the assignment on the iot and the new date of the assignment to the iot is there if you can want to edit this particular due date and everything you can click uh, click over here and you can edit the things over here and just we can save you can write over here uh, what is an important work given to the student over here suppose on the 25th you uh, just uh, arrange the google meet you just write over here the google meet or the tg meet for example any meet so in this way through the calendar you can save your work or you can assign proper timing proper dates to your work and once you save this particular work then there is a reminder to the students as well as to the teacher regarding to the pending work of the particular dates or particular timing now in this way this is a facility of the google classroom that you can create your own google calendar and just once you completed this you just save here and once you save this continuous uh, updation or continuous reminder from the google classroom is there on our mail or uh, in the students mail so in this way you can create a google meet you can create a google calendar to manage your class and also you can have your own google class drive in which if there are very big files or n number of notes n number of things regarding to this google classroom or uh, regarding to the subject you can drop over here and this class drive is automatically shared with the people or with the students with which or which are connected to your class so this is a part where you can assign the assignments to the students so we completed with the class work part we completed with the people part 
now there is a form which is a grade actually once the students submit the assignments to you that assignments can be observed over here in this grade section and once that assignment is submitted by the students then you can give the grade marks that means the marks to the students by observing the or by editing the assignment of the students here it is allowed you to edit the grades given to the student so for each and every assignment for example this is an assignment which i have created you can give the grade to the students the grades are allowed to give to the students if and only if the students can submit that particular assignment so in this way right now we seen how from the teacher end we can create the classroom so in this session once we understand how to create a classroom from the teachers end so see not only one class you may create n number of class okay another class one more class you can create just by clicking the create on the class so just if you click on the stream uh, so this is an class if you go over here you can one more facility is there you can archive your class if there are too many classes over here then you can archive your class for example if i click on archive class uh, the previous class which i have created i have archived that particular class so this is an facility for archiving your class so in this way you can create a class for the students so see here uh, are the uh, things upcoming uh, assignment due date is on saturday up to a uh, 12 pm if you want to share any important things uh, regarding to this assignment that uh, refer the material for solving the class then you may give the notes to the student and you just click on the post button then this particular note can be posted to the each and every student which are added into this particular google classroom so in this way we can create our own google classroom we can assign the assignments to the students and once the students submitted the assignment we can give the grade to the students so how this grade to the students can be given from student point of view how the google classroom can be handled this we can see in the next continued session by me one more important thing you need to remember is this is an the laptop or computer version but there is the app available for the google classroom so so using that app also you can easily manage your google classroom so in this particular session we studied in detail about how i can create a classroom from teacher point of view in the next session we'll continue with the how the student can access this google classroom and once student submitted the assignment how i can give the grading to the students